Hi everybody, my name is Gene Jolly. I'm president of Musicians Friend. I'm here with my good friend Jim Diodero today, lifelong musician, string maker, and founder of the Diodero company that you know and love uh, since 1974. Yeah, my name is Jim Diodero. I'm the CEO of uh, Diodero & Company. We started this company, my wife and I, essentially as a printing company in 1974, February 1st, I didn't 1974. Know that. So, this, so Diodero printing started and advertising. as a printing company. Yes, and, and in fact, uh, Ernie Ball himself called my brother and said, who's printing your envelopes? And my brother John said, well, my brother Jim does that. And uh, gave him my number in Limbrook and, and Ernie sent me uh, some artwork uh, for an O10 plain steel. He said, well, print me a couple of thousand samples. And I did, and I sent them out to him and I, and I didn't hear from him for two weeks and I went to pick up the mail. I opened it up and I opened it up as an order for 600,000 envelopes. So for many years, we printed envelopes for Ernie Ball. So Jim, you had mentioned earlier that your dad was a pioneer on the introduction of hex wire in the 1930s. I think this is like one of the one accomplishments of our company that I'm most proud of in my career, actually. I, a wound strings are, you know, they've got a, a winding on them and, and a core wire. If you wind on a round core wire, the, wi the wrap wire will just spring off and the string will be dead. So in order to hold that wire on, they have to do something to that core. They have to rough it up or peen it at the end so that the wire is held at the twist and it's held at the peens. So my dad was always uh, an advocate of hex cores from the 30s. He was one of the pioneers and he really wanted to use hex wire on, on everything and I, I still believe in the same. But the idea of the hex wire is that though, the, if the, you looked at a cross section of the wire, it's got six points and six flats. So, grab, and grab so when the softer off. wrap wire goes around it, it bites into that core. I mean, it's still around the outside of the string. Um, problem is, though, making hex wire is very difficult because somebody has to make a die out of tungsten carbide and they have to make that perfect hex shape in there. We've got digital laser inspection on these machines now that shows us the peaks and the valleys, the flats and the points. And we are holding a hex shape now that's like nothing you've ever seen before. Uh, another thing that blew me away when I visited the factory was learning that um, over 90% of your manufacturing was done in the United States. When the recession hit in 2007, I challenged my, my people in purchasing. I said, you know, I want you to take all of this stuff that's selling and I want to see if we could resource it here. And we were able to move a huge volume back and it was exciting. There was a leap of faith in some areas where we had to say, you know what, it's going to cost us 10 cents more for that peg winder or whatever, but it's going to say made in USA. And we're not going to have all those other hidden costs of importing and huge inventories. All of that extra stuff that is part of your total cost of ownership of a product, you know, when you make it here, it's just much simpler. Thank you everybody for being here today from Westlake Village, California, Musician's Friend.